Hi, Rama. It's week 32, day two of our Bible narrative reading plan. Today we are in 2 Kings chapter 22. Today we're looking at the reign of King Josiah. Now remember what we saw yesterday. We saw 55 years of terrible leadership on the throne of Judah. We saw Manasseh and then his son Ammon. And between those two, you had 55 years of wickedness and apostasy on the throne of of Judah. But now we're introduced to young Josiah. He's eight years old when he begins to reign, and he reigns for 31 years. Uh, verse 2 is something very important. It's the summary statement we get at the beginning of this uh, section on Josiah. And we see that the writer of Kings tells us that Josiah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, and he walked in all the ways of David, his father, and he did not turn aside to the right or the left. This is the overall summary of Josiah. But then the writer of Kings gives us uh, an account. He gives us a reason why he would say that. We see that it begins with Josiah seeking to repair the temple. We get that in verses 3 through 7. Now remember, this is just a continuation of what we saw with King Joash uh, 200 years earlier. Remember, we saw that in 2 Kings 12. So this same setup for how the temple was to be repaired. Uh, it began with Joash. Uh, we can trace it back at least that far with Joash 200 years earlier. So Josiah is continuing this, and his goal in the beginning is just to repair the temple. That's a good thing, but that's not the end of the story. We see what happens in verses 8 and following. Something is found when they're seeking to repair the temple. Uh, one of the servants says, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. Now, the book of the law could refer to the, the Torah, the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament as a whole, or it could specifically refer to the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, Deuteronomy is referred to as the book of the law, and so whatever portion of God's word they find, they take it to the king, and Josiah has it read in his presence, and what is his response? He hears the word of the law, and he mourns the nation's sin. He, he's so moved by hearing God's word that has been a, a drought in, in God's word in the land, 55 years under wicked leadership, and now this is 18 years into the reign of King Josiah. And so finally, the word of the Lord comes through the written word, uh, uh, the law of the Lord, the book of the law. And so when Josiah hears this, he mourns greatly and he inquires of the Lord. He tells the servants, go and find a prophet and, and that we might hear from the Lord. And so we're, we're told that this prophecy, God's word to Josiah at this time, comes from the prophetess Huldah. Now, we know nothing else about Huldah from anywhere in the Old Testament. We know from looking at the Old Testament as a whole that this is unusual, uh, that this comes uh, from a female prophetess. Uh, normally, that's a sign of condemnation on the lack of male leadership in the land. But we're not told any more about her. Uh, but she confirms through the Lord, she confirms to Josiah that judgment is indeed coming. As Josiah has heard God's word read, he recognizes they deserve judgment. And God says, absolutely, it's coming. Nothing will change that. But because of your response, Josiah, because you have repented, because you have mourned, I have heard your prayer and you will go to your grave in peace. Josiah will be spared of the certain destruction that is coming to Jerusalem and to Judah. Here's a summary of today's reading. For more information, go to tunemyheart.org.